Well, welcome to the cutaway model. This has been in the works for a couple years. It's just one of those things that keeps getting pushed by the wayside due to more important things. There's, uh, there's a lot of things I have planned with this. It's not just a pretty cool looking model. It's actually fully functional. I can operate every single clutch pack. I turn this thing over like it would be going down the street. So it's, it's gonna enable us to do a lot of studies, I'll say. I don't wanna give it all away. So just a quick uh, overview of what's going on here. Early on, I was gonna use a crack case and just cut the bell housing off, but I wanna keep the bell housing on. So I needed a good case and I figured, well, I'm not gonna do this to a diesel, so. Inside, there's a collection of good and otherwise unusable parts besides being cut open. The few parts that I did cut open were in a pile here that I, I always have going that is a pile of rejected parts that I would not put in a rebuild for various reasons. So in the case of the direct drum, this is, this is a 2001 diode style direct drum. I actually have a lot of these. I have more good ones than I do broken ones um, as far as that diode goes. So whatever that's worth. But I figured, all right, I need to do something with these things. I have tons of them. This one was actually a gasoline one that came out of a diesel truck that I tore down once. So somebody somewhere down the line not only swapped in a diode style drum, but they swapped in a gas one. So I just recut that so I could get the uh, diesel clutch count in there. Not that that really matters, but these are all uh, stock clutch counts. There's nothing, there's no magic in here, by the way. I'm not giving away any secrets. Um, this is a fully stock build with uh, used frictions, used steels, the uh, the forward drum has stripped splines, just like this one does. So I had to actually extend the center shaft an eighth of an inch to engage the unbroken splines that sit all the way at the bottom. So that was a fun, fun little thing to do. Uh, the shell was from a truck that had a catastrophic forward planet failure. So there was a lot of scoring, a lot of gouging on the on the inside rear surface of it. And from time to time, those, those shells will break right around the sun gear. So in this case, I felt that it was weakened, it was ugly, it was scored, so I was never gonna use that shell. The forward planet is just a three pinion aluminum job, and it is, there's nothing wrong with it. The ring gear, which is also cut open, is actually the ring gear from uh, a previous video in the Bad Parts series where I show the, uh, the forward ring gear with all the damage to the top lands and the faces. That's actually it right here. Um, and it works fine for this. Again, not usable anywhere else. The rear section is actually fine other than it's got a, uh, it also has a three pinion aluminum planetary carrier in there. The the drum is untouched, it's a fine drum, and then there's a stock six uh, friction pack in the rear. Everything is sealed, every piston works. I can engage every single piston, I can engage every clutch pack. It's kind of cool, it's a, it's, a, it's a good way to look to see how things interact with each other. It makes it a lot easier to see you know where the room is, where you can go, which way you can go. What you know? How does the how does the intermediate piston actually relate to the overdrive piston? You know things like that. It, anyway, we uh, we use these these individual uh, sub assemblies. You know, like the direct and the forward and the sun shell to look at different things. Like, oh well, how much you know? Can we move the forward drum? Well, no, we can't. Look how close it is to this shell. You know, things like that that you don't really know because you can't see. So this is just a, basically an introduction to the cutaway. I'm gonna use this for other things. Probably make some other videos on uh, different things you can you can now see with this. And hopefully that's gonna, gonna help some people. We'll keep going down the innovation trail separately with this same model and see where that leads us. And hopefully there'll be some, some really cool videos regarding that stuff in the future.